Tail of the tape time. Joey Spencer is up first. We get right to it. He's only 21. He is still undefeated. 13 and 0. Nine wins by KO. Limberth Ponce is 30 years old, more experienced. 18 and 4. Both about the same size. But again, Joey Spencer, the top prospect, opens things up tonight here on Christmas on Fox. We go to the ring, and here is the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome from the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. Premier Boxing Champions presents a big night of action coming away. Fox PBC Fight Night. Introducing our three judges scoring from ringside. We have Henry Grant, Ron McNair, and Robin Taylor. All right, fans, here we go with our opening attraction on Fox. Middleweights in the ring scheduled eight rounds of boxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Moline, Illinois, by way of Acapulco, Guerrero, Mexico. He weighed in at 155 and one half pounds with a record of 18 wins, four losses, 11 wins, coming by way of knockout. Introducing Limber, El Gallito Ponce. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, this eight-round attraction, wearing white trunks, hailing from Linden, New Jersey. He weighed in at 156 and one-half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 13 wins, no losses, nine wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated young contender known as the Small Town Soldier, introducing Joey. Spencer and introducing our referee in charge he'll be giving instructions after the introductions Eric Dolly okay gentlemen you already know the rules let me remind you to keep it clean protect yourself at all times and obey my commands at all times touch gloves good luck to both of you Ready to get underway, closed captioning is available for tonight's telecast. Or if you'd like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, you can click over to the simulcast on the Fox Deportes app. Joey Spencer, 21 years old. He's trained by his father, Jason. That was the man in his corner. He's already married. His wife is expecting their first child. Solid family foundation, and he behaves like it. He's always focused. He is always in top shape. Going up against a veteran here, and he looks to complete Again, another level of progression as he moves up the list at 154 pounds. Round number one, Joey Spencer in the white trunks and Limberth Ponce in the white and gold trunks scheduled for eight rounds. Now, we already know a lot about Joey Spencer, and he's, he's a very athletic fighter. Uh, he's on a roll. He's undefeated. But Limberth Ponce is actually, you know, we watched film of him, Lennox, you and yeah, I, yeah. and he's he's a tricky guy. He, he's he got a nice variety of punches, Brian. Uh, he can bring the left hook to the body, uppercut. So he's he's really a, a, a very well-skilled guy. This is a big test for Joey Spencer, and if he can dispense with a guy like Ponce in uh, short fashion, he's, he's on his way. And Ponce also has quick feet, and he's, you know, short. And Oh, he's going to be going to Joey's body or trying to get to Joey's mm -hmm. body. Yeah, Ponce, by the way, uh, born in Alcapulco, Mexico, but uh, fought as an amateur out of Quad Cities, Moline, Illinois. Still lives there. He's 30 years old, but he had a good amateur career. 95 amateur wins, won Chicago Golden Gloves in 2012 at 164 pounds, beating Nate Gallimore, by the way, who's gone on to be a good pro. Well, it's very rare for a guy to go from Quad Cities and go up and win in the big city. Mouthpiece came out on Ponce. Came sprawling out right Mount near Peace. us. Let's go. Rinse it out. In that corner. No, no, no. Well, that came out on Joey. Yeah. Put it in his mouth. That's odd. How did that come out? His father Jason puts it back in. We'll take a look and see exactly. What, did a punch take that out? I just didn't see it. I, 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 it, it might have, but I doubt it. It, it probably did because that's usually when it comes out. But he has. See, look, oh, his mouth open. He just, yeah. 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 I don't remember him getting popped in the yeah, mouth. There was a punch, oh. but he threw it. <laughs> you know. Well, it's bad to get hit with the hook right after you spit out the mouthpiece. Yeah, terrible. 
But again, Limberth Ponce, good amateur background, but he, at this point, he's a full-time, you know, he works full-time, trying to keep up with his boxing career at the age of 30. It's tough to make money in this business if you're not on the A side. And there's that athleticism of Joey Spencer right there. You know, Ponce came at him really hard. He got under one right hand, and then he slid out under a hook. I mean, that's really nice stuff early on from Joey Spencer. See, when it, when you first start a fight, you got to keep your hands up because that's when the other guy's strong as well. It's a hard right hand to the body by Always Spencer. Keep your hands up and try and keep that defense intact. Ponce trying to do that, come in with a solid foundation, a jab to the body by Spencer, uh, but a low uh, low work rate so far by Spencer. He's outlanded Ponce only eight punches to four. Yeah, yeah. he's made a couple of feints, but he didn't do anything after the feints. Well, he's got to do something after the feints. Joey Spencer's landed a couple good punches. He just landed a nice little short right hand against Ponce about five seconds ago. Then he landed a good right hand to the body right before that. He's, look, it's an eight round fight. He's, it's going to be a long fight for him. Uh, and, you know, he's got time to work on things here. So, uh, you know, he's trying to set up some counter shots, and I think he's looking really good right now. And to your point, uh, Joe, that you mentioned, look, you, you walk in there, it depends on who you're fighting, right? Not just the style, but the level of experience. And Ponce is not a guy that Spencer can just walk through. So he's taken a good long look, outworked him there slightly in round number one, outlanded him as we are underway here on Fox. And thank you very much, guys, here at the Prudential Center. Joey... Joey Spencer and his wife, as Brian mentioned, are expecting their first child in the springtime. But Joey Spencer said if he's victorious tonight, he wants to advance to fighting 10-round fights. And he said that his right hand is fully healed, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with as we head towards 2022. Back to you, Brian. All right, Ray Flores, thank you so much. Yeah, Joey and his wife, Tabitha, expecting their first child. Again, he's 21, married. Uh, they live in their own place now. They make a little money as a professional fighter. and. Uh, they are expecting their first child, they say in about uh, May. And uh, she's out here, uh, expected to be out here and uh, watch this fight. So again, it is a strong family foundation in a number of ways, with the parents, with his wife, uh, soon to have a family. Uh, but it's just a matter of Joe Goosen. How good or great can he be head, as he moves up? He's still 21, out, but you have go. to be very fluid to beat the top guys at 154 pounds. Well, right now, you know, Joey Spencer's looking really good. It, tonight will tell a big tale, you know, uh, what his next step should be and will be. If he can dispense with Ponce, because you you know, we talked about it, he has a great amateur career. He's got 11 knockouts and 18 wins. Uh, he, he's in there with a formidable guy. So tonight we'll tell a big tale, Bry. It's a hard shots there by Spencer, able to land his combinations. He's outlanded Ponce as well. Ponce, by the way, hasn't fought in two years before coming back this past June. And he had a, a, an easy win, third round TKO in Davenport, Iowa against a guy with 32 losses. So, like, he is barely fought. But he comes in here tonight in pretty good shape, and you can see he's experienced and can handle himself. He is experienced. Joey Spencer just went in there with a right hand to the body, and while he was throwing that right hand to the body, Spencer had his left hand down, and Ponce threw a short right hand. Now, did it land cleanly and hard? No. But it was right there. He, he timed it. So he's a smart guy, and Joey's got to be careful about making mistakes like that. Right hand to the body there by Ponce. Yeah, I usually see Joey uh, throw a lot more jabs in his in his fights, but uh, you know mm. he's throwing them sparingly in these last two rounds. It's a good point, Lennox. He's outlanded uh, in this fight so far. For jabs, outlanded Ponce five to one. He's only thrown 27. We're in the second round, but right, he's usually just a little more high energy and a little yeah, more I mean, active. Yeah, I know what you're saying. That double jab really well. Ate a right hand there. Got countered by Ponce nicely. That's the thing Ponce did earlier. Now, sometimes when you want to throw a jab, the guy doesn't cooperate too much, and it doesn't sit still. And, and you know, Ponce's got, you know, he's got that little movement, that little head movement, left and right. And I think it's, it's uh, the timing is going to have to be mastered by uh, Spencer tonight, and like that right there. So instead of going for the head, he went for the body. Uh, he, he, Ponce is not making it easy for him to land a jab. But a little bit earlier, see, I like what Spencer's doing right there. He threw a left uppercut earlier, landed it. He went to the body right there with the left hand. This is what he needs to do is mix it up, mix up his punches. And uh, that could really get him a, a big win tonight if he uses both hands instead of the last fight, just the left hand. Remember, he yeah. was using the right hand. And it's also important for him not to throw just one or two punches. He's got to throw combinations, three, four, five punch combinations. Well, he promised that. Let's see if he's going to come through for it. Spencer throwing uh, those counter shots, looking to catch Ponce in between punches. He's been able to hit him with some strafing shots, but nothing to do much damage so far. Final seconds now of round number two. Joey Spencer opening things up. We're scheduled for eight rounds here. Looks sharp, but 
reasonably slow so ah. far. Do both? <laughs> I, if I can get Jimmy Lennon in that red jacket, then I, I definitely would. Joey Spencer and his family are here. Spencer family is here from Linden, Michigan, making the trip out here. Again, they travel with him. Younger brother is a fighter as well, now a professional fighter. Again, trained by his father, Jason, his wife, Tabitha, out here as well in New Jersey. Then they'll celebrate Christmas after it. Not here in the building at the moment, but possibly, you know, resting, as he's expecting, Joe, so that's what, that's what happens. Round number three, you understand that sharp yes, jab there. I do quite well. By Joey Spencer early on. You know what's different here, and I'm, I'm with you, Lennox, on this. In the last fight in July against James Martin, James Martin, very different fighter, more high yeah, energy, yeah. traditional That's boxer, true. puncher, you know, kind of a straight conventional jab, double jab. And Spencer boxed with him, high energy. Yeah, this a lot of pace work. is vastly different. Well, he's taking his time, he's picking his shots, he's, you know, getting used to his opponent. Well, he's, uh, he's not getting hit, but he can step it up a little bit now because he's not really getting hit. Um, well, I'll also say, just to throw in, James Martin was the guy who defeated Vito Milnicki Jr. So James Martin was no joke coming in. No. They had a, he was overweight. Milnicki did not want to fight him because he was overweight. So Spencer, who's one weight class up, said, I'll take him. And he fought him and fought him very well and boxed beautifully. And boxed Joe differently than we've seen. Well, yeah, More yeah. of a boxer than a slugger. But but again, but again when you went in that last fight, uh, he, against Martin, he was fighting a guy that has no knockouts. And, you know, you're going to take more chances. Right here, Ponce's got 11 knockouts and 18 wins. So he's he's obviously, and I think it's smart for him to take a little bit more time and be a little bit more cautious early on until you get the timing down. And look, we're not even at the halfway point of this fight yet. Uh, the second half of this fight, Joey Spencer could have him figured out and then maybe start unloading some heavy artillery. But, you know, again, uh, his last fight, he wasn't facing a guy that had any knockouts, zero knockouts. Right. But, but the guy could box. No, he could box, but, but, but you, you can go after style, a guy right. like that without worrying too much about getting countered and cracked and dropped. Well, Ponce has fought once in two years, though, too, Joe. I, mean, I understand <laughs> that, but that doesn't mean he's not strong. Huh. Yeah, he's definitely got a punch. You, you always have to worry about a, a guy that knocks out people's power because he can do that in one second. Oh. No, end in one second. Oh. Bobbled there a little bit there. Spence got to him there. Yeah, he did. Good right hand by Spencer. And Monte like. comes back in, trying to fire some straight up shots, earn some respect back, create some space. Joey's getting a little bit more comfortable uh, putting some harder shots together and holding his ground, you see right here. I think he thinks he can beat uh, Ponce to the punch. Uh, with his speed right now, and he's got Ponce backing up. Hard right hand there on the exchange. Final 30 seconds of round number three. Limberth Ponce out of Quad Cities, Moline, Illinois. Again, this is a big moment for him, getting his shot at a young prospect on the way up. Big moment for him, taking the fight on Christmas Day. Joey Spencer can really step in with that left hook, right hand combination, which is working perfectly for him. He needs to throw it a lot more. Five seconds, gentlemen. Final seconds, round number three. Joey Spencer with some success there. He has out jabbed Ponce 13 to 1. And here was a right hand, I believe, that wobbled Ponce coming through and sent him back. I caught on the. Uh, Caught, wow, caught on the gloves, but then wobbled, even though he blocked it for the most part. That type of power from Joey Spencer. We're back in Newark on Christmas Day in a moment. See, Joe, that's how you order room service when you're in, you know, you're at the winter. What's the ordering right now is what are you better be ordering the pay-per-view, Lennox, if you're going to do that. I like Joe earlier said I, I usually have someone do that to get the yeah, menu. Right. But you can I, scan I, the QR I, code I, on the screen and you can yeah. buy the pay-per-view. I'm not good with that right now. Well, you but but hey, do that. Brian, did you notice that? And we've talked about this before. Where Spencer really hit the gloves of Ponce, and that rocked him through yeah. the gloves. You, that, you don't you know? normally see that. You don't. Usually, usually, that, usually right? have to hit the head. You're causing straight. Yes. another man to hit himself no, in, in the head. Himself. Right. <laughs> exactly. Hard hook there by Spencer. Round number four. Joey Spencer in the white trunks, and you have Limberth Ponce in the white and gold trunks. Sharp hook after the right hand by Spencer. Joe, you ever have a, your own boxer concuss himself? Oh, you mean like hit himself in the eye or something? Yeah. Missing a punch on the speed bag or yes. something like that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
it, and there's nothing more embarrassing, and it always hurts more when you hit yourself, right? <laughs> well, Lennox, the, the question that the follow-up is, did you ever do that? Hit myself? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, come on. No, because I knew it would hurt. Oh, he, what, he's, he's <laughs> invulnerable to, yeah, well, he's perfect? Okay. You're right. <laughs> so just Joe's fighters do, do, do that. Yes. I, I get it. So far here, get a slower pace for Joey Spencer, but uh, he has thrown out nearly 120 punches so far through three and a half rounds. So the work rate isn't slow, but the pace itself is not as frenetic as we've seen Spencer before. Yeah, he's taking his time. I think he realizes this is an eight rounder and, uh, you know, he wants to look good throughout the whole eight rounds. It's a good point, Lennox, too, because he's 21. Yeah. Again, as I often point out, I liken this to baseball. He's a guy in his age 21 season. It's a very young guy. There's a long way to go before he even hits his prime. And there's a lot to learn there in the ring. He was a very good amateur fighter, obviously, like he's national level fighter as a kid. Coming out of Michigan was not a hotbed of amateur fighting. And then came up and was a blue chipper pretty much right away and was able to blow out lesser opposition early in his career. Now it's time to step up and fight more experienced fighters. Yeah, I like it when Joey puts his hands up every so often instead of always having that low left hand. Yeah, I See, agree like with that, you on that. You know, because, you. you know, it, 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 what it does, it makes you more cautious. When you have your hands up, you feel more confident to go ahead and maybe make some harder moves against the guy. Right? He also didn't have to move his head and work as hard. He just block it because those shots Ponce was throwing weren't so devastating that oh, I've got to get out of the way. Well, yeah. The big thing is you're not in the position to throw punches back because you're in the position just really to block punches and you're not really coming back with any punches. Nice jab there by Spencer and another one. Yeah. Now snapping and bouncing that jab off Ponce's head. You know, I always say, like, if, you know, if you're na naturally with a low left hand on the outside, I always say the closer you get to your opponent, the more the hand should come up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. me. Yeah, of course that's it is. Right. 101. Yeah. You know, a lot of people always said I always kept my hands down, but they didn't realize as I got closer to the person, I always kept my hands up. That's right. Here's Jason Spencer in the corner with his son. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's happening. It's a process. It's happening. How you feeling, Joey? Great. Good. Hold your eye. A little bit. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. You shook him up with your legs. You broke his rhythm, and you started hitting him with like four or five jabs in a row. Good job. One more. As we listen in there, and Joey Spencer is there, uh, he did have a, a broken hand coming into his previous fight and hurt his, his, his hand. So you wonder, all right, is there any reticence uh, to throw it? His father, Jason, had told us that, look, once we got that out of the way, he just wants to see his son, Joe, loosen up and just relax. He's finding the weight, the conditioning, and he says, hey, last couple of fights, I think we've come in on fire. Head movement is there, defense is there, and very low-key corner, didn't you think? Yeah, it, it, it is a low-key corner, but, you know, sometimes that's better than an excitable, you know, hard punch oh, yeah. corner. Oh, right oh, hand oh. staggers Ponce. Spencer with the explosion. Moving in now, Ponce firing back, clears his head. That was a right hand from Spencer, so it appears to be all right. And that, that was the... Punch that he wasn't throwing in the last fight. He was all left hook, if you remember, Bright, last last fight. Last That's fight. because he had pins in his hands. Yeah, his well, right hand. they were out by then, okay. but he said he wasn't confident in the fact that it was healed completely. He goes, after the fight, I realized I could have thrown it more than it was just me well, psychologically. This hesitant. right hand looks like more of a confident right hand. Yeah, right that, hand. that exploded, no question, Lennox there. Another right hand, Ponce. Ponce able to weather that storm pretty well. Eats a jab again from Spencer. I mean, look, look. I mean, you can tell Spencer, look, he's he's really, he's built really well. He looks like a strong guy. He's throwing, he throws with speed. He's got great jump on his legs. In other words, he springs into you fast with that one, two. And that, that even puts more... Oh, oh, he's wild. He's hurt. Right hand after the hook. Trying to stay on his feet. Down he goes. That's it. See, that's it is over. It is that right hand again. Well, it, was the left, it was actually the left, right hand hurt him. Yeah. The left hook really put the final touches on him the, in, the, in the first series. Eric Dolly didn't even count. No, no. He was. That was the explosion that we are talking about. And, and waiting till the second half of the fight, right? Waiting for it. 
And Joey Spencer once again delivers as he usually does as a professional. Wow, he put both hands together in this fight, which he didn't do in the last fight. They were fast, they were powerful, they were on point. He was really, see, and I told you, this fight was going to tell a big story about Joey Spencer. He's really coming together now. Again, it's a learning experience. What what a great ex, uh, uh, night of experience for him here to take away with him. Because I'll say this about Ponce, three of his four losses have been by split decision or majority decision. He normally doesn't get blown out. No. And he just got blown out. And he it was did. that left-right combination. It was there all night from the beginning of the night. It, it really was. And, it, and you know, it showed up in the last round. Yeah, yeah. it really was. And, but again, we're going to see that replay. Watch this little left hook he hits him with after that one, too. It's what really buckled him. He was buckled, and that really just finished him. Boy, you, you rarely see that where a guy is kind of in suspended animation, yeah. where Ponce was just, <laughs> you know, taken out of his uh, senses for a moment from those shots by Spencer. All right, nothing really happened there until that right hand. Now that hurt him. Now he's going to hit him with another after after this series. He's going to. This is the same punch right there. That's just a closer look. But it's the next series of punches. He's going to come in with that right hand Lennox is talking about. And here you're going to, you're going to see the second knockdown. There's left, that left hook, hook right on the chin. Yeah, that was the hook. And I was his equilibrium about. was gone. Referee's looking at him. He's trying to ho hold on. He can't. Joey comes back in that with a right hand and, and a left hook, hook yeah. and takes him out. Referee steps in. Boom. Last right hand to Boy, steal wow. the knockout. I tell you, Ponce did his very best to he stay did. on his feet, didn't he do did. himself any favors. No. Big win for the Spencers on Christmas. Island. And here we've seen Joey Spencer, another young prospect. He's 21. He has answered the call in every bout, and he was explosive and spectacular here in New Jersey tonight. Let's go to the ring and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 24 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Eric Dolly, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, the small town soldier, Joey Spencer. You know, even blue chippers need to improve, but Spencer has done that even through the shutdown, which was very difficult for a lot of prospects just trying to get fights. Mm -hmm. And here, again, you could see a grown man in Limberth Ponce, who has been around. Took a lot to get him out, but Lennox, he got him out. Oh, he got him out. He threw some good, early on, threw some good right hands, sweeping right hands. There's a good body shot by Spencer. Good sweeping right hand to the head. Kind of knocks his bone off balance a little bit. Here comes Ponce with a right hand and catches Joey on top of the forehead. Joey didn't let up, though. He came back with his own right hand, knocked Ponce right off his feet. And here you see the end of the fight coming. Uh, Joey catches him with a left. Ponce, he looks wavery right now. He's trying to stay on his feet. Joey steps back in, coming in with that right hand. Bam, and it lands straight on the chin. And catches him with that cleanup hook. And yeah, yeah, he's waiting for the uppercut. Perfect uppercut right on the chin. Good accuracy and takes out Ponce. That is a quality finish, right? Okay. Power with both hands, multiple shots. Copy box numbers. Spencer outlanding Ponce 60 to 19. Uh, throwing 154 punches. Again, it was a slower pace. It was an explosive end, and that's what matters. Let's get to the winner now in Joey Spencer. Ray Flores is in the ring, right? Thank you very much, Brian. Well, we are with the undefeated Joey Spencer with an emphatic fifth round knockout victory over Limberth Ponce. Joey, tell us about the finish of the fight. What a beautiful combination punctuated by the right uppercut. Yeah, you know what? Uh, he was a he was a game guy and he came to win. He was trying to counter me. And um, you know what? I, I landed the first shot that hurt him. And I, I from you know previous experiences, I realized I, I needed to chill for a second and not rush him off the bat. And I knew the perfect shot would set up. And, and uh, that's what happened. I know that this is a very special time for you, you and your wife. You're expecting your first child in the springtime. How satisfying is this win, coupled with the fact that now you're going to be a new father as we head towards 2022? Uh, you know, there's nothing greater than the blessing of, you know, having my first kid. Um, me and Tab, me and my wife Tabitha are just the happiest people in the world right now. And um, God bless us with a, with a great living that, um, that we're able to carry out here in the ring. And we've got a great uh, gift coming soon in May. And um, so thank God for that. 
and um, yeah, I'm very excited. Congratulations yeah. on the victory, Joey. We look forward to seeing you in the new year. Okay, I just want to thank Al Heyman and Louis Secubus for this opportunity, and uh, thank Jesus for this win, and uh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to be back.